Okay, now uh, here we are with Guy Williams, and we're gonna let the camera go a little bit more towards Guy, maybe. Guy's one of our uh, Time Zone Watch School student graduates students. Uh, how long ago was I? Uh, I think I started this uh, series, the first one, maybe uh, the last quarter of last year. Last quarter of last year. Spent $75 on enrollment fee. Oh, yeah, but that's just the tip of the iceberg. That's just the tip of the iceberg. But, you having fun? <laughs> yes, absolutely. <laughs> okay, that's one of the counts. we got to have fun, we got to have toys. So, uh, so uh, let's see, where I am now, I'm uh, doing uh, watch repairs, uh, restorations on old pocket watches. Uh, I think my favorite movements right now are automatics from the uh, 50s onward through the 70s. In fact, I'm looking for a good supplier of Longines uh, parts. We have a good supply of Longines parts. Well, what about time zone? Was it a good experience? Yes, absolutely. It was. Absolutely. It was. They went through all three levels, huh? Yep. Timing and everything and playing with all this stuff. and Disassembling, um, timing. I started out with the ES95, which was that's actually a good place to start. Take these things apart, put them back together again, they actually work, huh? To yes. And right now, what's on your wrist? This is from Ofri. This is a... Your case. This is our this case, is number one. case, O'Fry dial. What watch movement we have in there? This is a uh, 2893-2. With the 24-hour hand. 24-hour hand. We didn't think it would be possible to put this movement in this case. Yeah, I figured it out. Guy did it, man. Guy did it.